Hello, this is Tofum Trifold Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can access or get, uh, I'm going to say, trails of movement in Blender. Uh, the easy way by using this add on called Mesh Trails. Now, uh, it might sound a little bit to iffy, I guess, when it comes to movement trails, but I'll show you what, what I mean by this. Now, I'll leave a link of the download below this uh, uh, video so you can download yourselves and uh, try it out. It's not free, uh, but like I always say, it's for the price, it's good for the money. And this process is still the same. Once you've downloaded it, go to Edit, Preferences, click on Install, and then navigate to where you've installed it or downloaded it onto your system. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that myself. Let me type in mesh here. And true, there it is. And put a check in the box and it's activated. And I'm using Blender 2.92. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is the version that it seems to work in at this point in time as the best option. But the good thing about the add-on also is that it doesn't clutter up your tool panel. Once you uh, access what's needed for the add-on to work, it'll show up on the side panel. Let me turn off my phone here, it's starting to buzz. But um, we're going to move the cube over. I'm going to use the cube later. I'm going to press Shift A and then go to Mesh, or actually Curve, and Bezier Curve. And once you've done that, the add-on is in the Bezier uh, Object Data Panel, uh, right here, Mesh Trails. And you can click on Add Mesh to Object. And you can click on that. And the only way you can see it in action is if you press Play, then you press Grab. And you can see that there's a trail behind the Bezier curve. You can. It, this is just an introduction to the add-on, but you can do a, a good amount of things with it. Uh, let's stop that, go back. And you might be asking, well, how can I, you know, apply it to an animation to, to actually have it linked to an object in Blender, a model or uh, anything, basically. Now, first thing is we're going to try to access the uh, parameters or the uh, tools we can use to kind of change the way the mesh appears. So we're going to go to, and it works or it renders in Eevee and in Cycles, well obviously Cycles is better. But let's click on our viewport shading and change the viewport so we can see what it's going to look like when we add color to it. Now to access uh, the parameters for the add-on for the mesh trail, uh, just click on Bezier Curve Trail, click on that. And then you have a drop down option or just drop down you have the wind option tapper cache length so on and so forth let's make it a little bit longer so we can see what it looks like let's see how it looks like when it's at 12. let's press play again g to grab oh g to grab we have to get beyond our actual bezier curve in order to access that movement let's click on the curve and g to grab now that's that's really long so let's make that smaller stop let's uh probably turn it down to i guess five is a good number enter now all these other options we're not going to really mess with those the main thing is we're going to change the color of this and we're actually going to attach it to our cube we're going to pretend that our cube is a model that's running across a field so i'm going to show you, you can attach the bezier curve to our cube in order to get that mesh trail uh, when it comes to it moving quickly across something or maybe a sword swiping something on, along those lines but let's change the color first we're going to divide our window let's have our mouse over this corner left click and drag and then we're going to change our uh, display here to shader editor left click on that i'm going to pull this back now to have a shader applied to our uh, mesh trail automatically click on generate simple, simple shader left click on that and it gives us 
uh, a no set up here. Now the only thing you can you want to deal with here is the color. So let's change the color to let's say red, and change our viewport again to Eevee, and it's not it's not red. So when we click on play again and click on our bezier curve, and press G, now it looks pretty cool that it's it's really you know popping so to speak. Let's stop that. <clears throat> Excuse me again, my throat's got something in it. This is always, that always happens. Every time I do a video, I've got something in my throat. I don't know what that is, but let's move past that. Now we're going to uh, join our windows back together. And we're going to actually attach our bezier curve to our mesh. But we, what we want to do is make uh, the bezier curve flat. So let's press it on our keyboard to view it from the top. Press tab with our bezier curve selected, press tab. And we have these handles. And we're going to press on our move gizmo, left click on that, and left click on this corner, and left click and drag on the Y axis, hold down your but your mouse there and just pull it down so it's somewhat straight. And that looks good. Let's press tab, get up edit mode. And we're going to go into the side view by pressing three. And we're going to press R Y90 to make our bezier curve uh Go from top to bottom. We're going to grab our cube and pull it close to our curve here. And the key thing is we have to have movement in our cube first before we, we attach the bezier curve to the cube. So we're going to left click on our cube and reposition it, get more space, scroll down with our mouse wheel to give us more of a view of our um, uh, scene here. We're going to press record animation button blender, left click on that. We're going to pull up with our mouse so we can see our timeline. I'll we'll left click on the Z axis. And then we're going to type in, let's type, let's scroll, scroll up on our mouse wheel to get to uh, this option here. We're going to click in there and change it to 5, enter. We're going to left click and drag on our Y axis, left click and drag on our Z axis. And that gives us one movement. Then we're going to click in here again and type in 10, more increments of 5, so 10, enter. And we're going to left click and drag on our Y axis, left click and drag on our Z axis, pulling that down. And one more movement again, click in here, type in 15, enter. Left click on our Y axis, left click and drag on our Z axis. We want it to kind of stop, to move our timeline just uh, hold down your middle mouse button and drag. We want to stop at 15. And the good thing with Blender 2.92 is it gives you these uh, brackets here for start and end. And we're just going to click with our uh, timeline on 15, click on uh, set end, and it stops right there. Let's turn off our uh, recorder. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's see what the movement looks like. Press play. And that looks pretty good. Now, the next thing we want to do is scroll up on our mouse wheel left click and drag on our hand gizmo, we're going to click on our left click on our bezier curve, pull it close to our cube so it kind of sits on that side and we're going to have that stay that, keep that selected and we'll hold down shift, left click on our cube there then press control P on our keyboard and then click on object and now our bezier curve should be attached to our cube when we press play, look at that now that is one cool add-on that I'm pretty much, you know, pleased with. So if you have a scene, an animation that you're doing in Blender where you want there to be some kind of mesh trailer or a trail of movement behind your character, or they're swinging some kind of object, you want some kind of uh, movement behind that to give it more emphasis, the mesh trail add-on is what you need. And that's today's Blender's Quick Tip. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed to the, to the channel, and I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you. Uh, and the ones you've watched in the past have helped you also, and I really appreciate you guys watching them. And uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who are subscribed in the future. And that subscribe is a tongue twister, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.